Good morning, everyone. I'm Joe Torres. Sandra is off tonight. We begin with that Thanksgiving Day attack at Rikers Island. Exclusive surveillance video obtained by Eyewitness News shows a male correction captain simply walking when a male inmate pounces, punching him in the face and knocking him to the floor. And the assault did not end there. Eyewitness News reporter A.J. Ross has the details. This attack on a corrections captain here at Rikers is really disturbing to watch, and it begs a lot of questions. Now, this incident does remain under investigation, but the captain's union says there needs to be harsher punishments for incidents like this. It was just before 2 p.m. Thanksgiving Day when Captain Awar Gary began making the rounds inside the Otis Bantam Correctional Center at Rikers. Surveillance cameras show Gary being followed by two other captains. Then seconds later, he's suddenly surrounded and ambushed. It's a horrible video to view, but the more horrible thing is, is that this is not isolated. The inmate seen slamming Gary to the ground and repeatedly punching him has since been identified as 33-year-old Jason Reed, a known gang member. Gary is separated from his colleagues and left to fend for himself and eventually takes the upper hand until two other inmates jumped him. This captain was not helped. As a matter of fact, staff retreated from the area. Now you could look at that two ways. You could look at that as just barely being a coward, or you could look at it as staff is so concerned for their own safety that that's the only thing that's paramount in their minds. We spoke off camera with Captain Gary before his follow-up doctor's appointment Saturday. He showed us some of his injuries, including a seven inch cut from his ear to his cheek, along with several bruises and lacerations. I don't see a day where uh, the reports come in where there isn't an assault on a captain each and every day, usually more than one. The president of the Correction Captains Association says these types of assaults on officers occur all too frequently, and he wants punishments like punitive segregation to be utilized more to deter these types of incidents. The men and women that are working Rikers Island are working the dangerous, the most dangerous job in the city of New York. The danger uh, is so prevalent that it's, it's, it's scary. The Department of Corrections released a statement this afternoon saying, quote, we will never tolerate the actions of those who harm our staff, and we are working with the Bronx District Attorney to arrest and prosecute any inmate involved in this incident. At Rikers, I'm A.J. Ross, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.